and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my lineup update, which, as you guys know, isn't a content type video, it's a tip type video. I'm going to be going over my lineup. I'm going to be showing you guys a few things. But the beauty of these videos are I don't just show you guys the players. I go over in depth stat analysis, why I want these players. And I also go over future upgrades as well as have you guys help me out. It's kind of like an interaction video where you guys help me build my team a little bit. I'm going to be going over why I'm waiting for certain players. So it's always good for you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably on a daily basis sit there and like, should I upgrade this guy? Should I get this quarterback? Why would I want this type of quarterback versus this type of quarterback? I really don't know what to do. No one has videos for it on YouTube. So in this case, I'm going to be going over my stat analysis, why I like certain guys, why I'm going to be going with certain guys, kind of the way I'm going to be going about this. So it's usually where I usually recommend you stay throughout the video and you guys can hear a lot of uh, my inner thoughts regarding certain positions Now guys before we get into this video make sure down below hit that subscribe button and then know the bell boys come join the family I don't know what day you'll be seeing this on. It'll be sometime while I'm in Spain So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Like I guess if you're new Don't forget to subscribe comment down below if you need any help with your team or hit me up on Twitter either or works and as well as go over to Twitter Follow me over and the link will be down below in the description like the video Can we get this video to 300 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated now. Let's get into the video so starting off with the quarterback, we have Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, and Phillip Rivers, which I actually did not know that we had Phillip Rivers. I really have to start doing binder cleanup pretty soon. I have a ton of coins sitting in my binder. Now, yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of players sitting in my binder. Okay. So yeah, so we got Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson. Now, my quarterback of the future is not Michael Vick. It is Lamar Jackson. That's why I never powered up Vick. Don't get me wrong. Vick is an absolute monster right now. He could make any throw on the run, make any throw down the field, can outrun anyone, can make literally every throw. I love this Vick. But this Lex Lamar Jackson is going to be insane. That's why I held him to this Lamar, because his prices are already skyrocketing. I think I've told enough people on YouTube how good this next Lamar is going to be, so people are ready for it. But the, compared to this Vic, like, this next Lamar is going to be way faster. His next Lamar is going to be almost equally as strong with the arm. He's going to have way better short accuracy. He's going to have way better medium accuracy. He's going to have very similar deep accuracy, way better throw under pressure. He's going to have similar throw on the run. Not as great, but he's going to be close to it. Maybe the same. And then way better play action. Now, the throw under pressure is important because I think his next card might be able to get close to Dash and Deadeye. I'm not entirely sure. That's what I want to show you guys because that's the, that's the important stat for this card is the Dash and Deadeye. When it can't officially get Dash and Deadeye, what is going on? Why did, they, why did they change the look of it? This is weird. So, Dash and Deadeye is the important factor here. So, you probably can get... Why do I have Gutsy Scrambler twice? That's so weird. All right. So, Dash and Deadeye. He, by the way, gets you in Joystick 99 overall. So, his... I believe his 99 overall card should be able to get 99 agility and 99 uh, overall, so he might be getting that. Now, what really matters is dash and dead eye. So he needs a 95, a 98 overall, and a 95 throw on the run, right? So in the final slot, I believe it will be the same thing, or at least it should be. Yeah, 95 throw on the run, 98 overall. So right now he currently has, let's see, he currently has a 93 throw on the run, which I think unpowered up and everything on chemed up, probably like a 90, 92, right? Probably like a 92. So his next card should be able to get it powered up which is why i'm excited if he gets dash and dead he's gonna be the most overpowered quarterback ever in madden history so we're hoping for that now next for running back i got bo jackson barry sanders saquon barkley miles Sanders. i have a lot of cards I need to sell wow but anyways back to what i'm saying bo jackson barry sanders barry sanders just a backup i'm holding him because it's ultimate legend card at some point saquon barkley is just because i'm a giants fan and then bo jackson probably my running back of the future for at least a month unless team of the year drops some banger like Dalvin Cook or something. I really don't see them dropping any running backs from 97 plus speed. So I really don't see a need for me to really go out and upgrade my running back spot. Because not that's literally what If they don't have a power, they're going to need a power back spot. Well, power back ability, an evasive ability, and 97 speed. It's going to be very hard to top that, uh, that trio right there. If they can do it, I'll make sure to upgrade it. But I think Bo Jackson's safe for a lot of people. Fullback, guys, that's all. That's all what you, if you don't use fullback, if you do use fullback, I just have Schlesinger there. He's been free the whole year since like September. So I've been rocking with him. Wide receiver, I got Tory Holt, Tyreek Kill, Randy Moss. Wide receiver core is looking pretty weak. Tory Holt's obviously going to be a year long guy. He's just too good not to be. And he's free. Tyreek Kill is not a year long guy unless they drop some banger new Tyreek Kill. I just, in my opinion, I need Randy Moss. Tory Holt and Tyreek Hill. I think I'll be fine. I just need to upgrade my mouse to the, the full one again. Once I'm there, I think I'll be pretty fine in terms of that. I don't really see myself. I don't really use wide receivers too much, so not going to affect me. Now, once the Lamar's a better passer, though, I'll probably use him a lot more. Just the new Randy Moss, though, with a, that's all you need. You need a, a tall catching monster, a route running monster, and a speedy monster. I have all three. That's like the perfect trio of wide receivers right there. Tight end. I'm looking for Tony Gonzalez the rest of the year and George Kittle. Those are my two tight ends. Once George Kittle gets his new card, I'll upgrade him. Because I, I run a lot of two tight end sets. So I have my catching, route running type receiver tight end. And I got my run blocking, again, catching type wide receiver tight end. I'm going to have two of them. It's awesome. 
going to be awesome for me. Now, I'm going to go over quick left tackle. I obviously had to upgrade Munoz. That is way too old. I recommend for you guys picking up the new team of the year left tackle that you guys will be seeing when, this, when the promo drops this week. Or the Ultimate Legend Munoz. Just power him up. It'll be the same thing. Same thing with Bruce Matthews. Go with the new, um, probably like Quentin Nelson or whatever team of the year left guard drops. Or just power Bruce Matthews to his Ultimate Legend. At center, I recommend you guys go get the... There is a brand new center coming, I believe. Or there should be. I mean, I think there might be a team of the year Frederick coming again. By the time you guys see this, I haven't seen team of the year yet, so... Don't roast me, is what I'm trying to say. But Frederick's solid. I either You can get the White Stevenson, but you can also just wait for the brand new center that's going to be coming out. I usually use my, I usually get all team of the year linemen. That's usually how I end the year off, just rocking with those guys. Right guard, I use the Castro again. Same thing. You can use, uh, you can use Larry Allen. You can use, Ultimate Leg you can use the Ultimate Legends. That's not out yet. I mean, you can use NFL and Hunter. Sorry if I've been calling them Ultimate Legends. Right tackle, I have Lane Johnson. Again, you can just upgrade to the brand new team of the year uh, right tackle. I haven't been upgrading my line at all. I've had no coins to do just such that's that thing, and that's usually what I do last. When it comes to the pastors, I'm more than content with Michael Strahan. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I might end up powering him up. He's powered up and coming up. He's gonna have like a 99 power move and a great athleticism. He's gonna be he's gonna be solid for a while. I don't really see no need to get rid of him. It was it was if it was up to me, I would probably hold on to him for a little bit longer. Unless Team of the Year drops a banger end, but last year Team of the Year did not drop any banger ends. Unless I drop like an Aaron Donald, but that's also right end, so that won't impact him too much. Michael Strand style, guys. I highly recommend you pick him up if you haven't already. Great, great uh, left end. Next at right end, we got Nick Bosa and Aaron Donald. I obviously use Aaron Donald here. I'm kind of just hoping that they drop a Team of the Year Aaron Donald. Because this is the first time in a few years that Aaron Donald, A, hasn't been in contention for the playoffs. Or hasn't been in contention for Defensive Player of the Year. Not that he wasn't probably one of the best defensive players. But because it, it's leaning towards a few other people right now just because of hype. You know, though Aaron Donald's consistently, it's like LeBron, right? LeBron can't win the MVP 17 years in a row. If he could, he would have, but he can't. So I don't think Aaron Donald will win it again. So that means that he, they probably aren't anticipating him getting another car, which means he could finally toss him team of the year. And this Aaron Donald's beastly as it is. He currently has all above 90 stats besides tackle. He can do pretty much, oh, and, and athleticism. But he's, he's really solid. I highly recommend you guys scoop with Aaron Donald. And you can use like an end game card for me, in my opinion. Defensive tackle, I really got an upgrade. Whatever d banger defensive tackle they drop at... Uh, team of the year, I'm gonna definitely pick him up. I have Ed Oliver, but he's not great. I choose him there for overall and like scheme purposes. Defensive tackle is definitely not my strong suit. Love that side linebacker, guys. I've had this card since like the first two weeks of Madden. I definitely need to upgrade this. He's, he's ass at this point. He does not do much for me. I really gotta upgrade my Von Miller. I'm hoping they do a team of the year Von Miller. That'd be pretty awesome. Team of the year Von Miller, Khalil Mack, whichever one comes out, I'm gonna scoop either one. Hopefully, it's one of them. That would make it a lot easier. I mean, I'm picking up whichever one they drop, so. They did just drop an LTD Mac though, so I'm assuming it'd have to be Von Miller if they do do one of the two, which scares me because that means that if it's not Von Miller, I really don't know who it could be at that point. Hoping it is though, that'd be huge. Definitely need an upgrade there. Middle linebacker, I'm, I've been happy. Like Ryan Chase has been killing it for me. I have no problem rocking with Chase the rest of the year. And then Bush has been amazing too. I can easily rock out both of them. I really don't think I need some overpowered linebacker considering I just go back and forth. I need that speed. They're, they're, they're crazy fast for me. They have great zone. They have great hit. Either one that I don't use or has a great zone, so it's not like I'm missing out either way whenever I have anyone else. And for you guys again, you guys probably do the same. Now, right aside back, you gotta get Lord's Taylor. Lord's Taylor's Engie. I don't care who comes out team of the year. You're not gonna get a right aside back with that level of athleticism, that level of pass rush, that level of run stuff, that level of tackle, that height. You're not gonna get all that combo. And in my scheme, I pass rush the right aside linebacker, so it's perfect for me. I highly recommend you pick up Lawrence Taylor. He's the end game card. Now, cornerbacks, we got Nitrain Lane, we got Mel Blunt, we got Deion Sanders, we got Denzel Ward, we got Stephon Gilmore. Now here. Nitro Lane, Mel Blunt, and Deion Sanders are kind of the squad right now. Deion Sanders is endgame for me. You gotta pick up Deion. That's a must. Like Deion is a must-have on your team. Second quarterback you gotta have, Champ Bailey. I think Champ Bailey is another endgame card that you can guys can just upgrade with Ultimate Legends at some point. In my opinion, I think Deion and Champ Bailey are the number one and two you guys need right now. And now Nitro Lane, you can get him or you can get Mel Blunt. They're very similar cards. Nitro Lane is just a little bit faster. But again, it also comes down to being powered up. If I powered up Mel Blunt, he'd have the same exact speed as Nitro Lane. So Mel Blunt or Nitro Lane, either card. But for now, I think Deion and Champ. If anything, you don't have to get these cards. Just get Deion and Champ. Lock down your one and two with Deion and Champ. And once you do that, you can worry about the rest later. In my opinion. Now, free safety. I got Sean Taylor. You guys got to get this Sean Taylor. He is the best free safety I think I've ever used. He gets crazy picks. He's crazy fast. He forces fumbles. He's super tall. I love the Sean Taylor. Use your power pass on the Sean Taylor. He, I think he's endgame for me at this point. I really do. I think I could rock with him at least until like March. And at that point, he might have an ultimate legend card if they get rights to him. If they have the rights to him, which it appears they do, we probably get him again. So definitely want to get Sean Taylor. And a strong safety, Pat Tillman. I'm assuming he gets upgrades soon for all you guys asking. People are like, he's not really that great anymore. He's still really good. He has crazy good zone, crazy good hit power, crazy good speed, crazy good tackle. He play right. He's still good. People will say he's not good. But I'm assuming he will be getting upgrades probably, I'd imagine, sometime in February. And then your series update, you'll probably get some upgrades. 
because that's always been kind of like the benefit of these cards. It's typically more of a power than everyone else. You're kind of forced to use them. I just hope he gets it soon. I definitely want to upgrade my path to. I'm going to keep increasing my overall. And then a kicker for all you guys who people get really mad and I'll show my kicker. I got Justin Tucker. Solid kicker. Gets the job done. I probably definitely want the new team of the year kicker though. So I can have that extra like 50, 60 yard range extender right there. And then a punter. I really don't punt too often. I definitely need a new punter. Because the reason I don't punt too often. Because when I do it doesn't go very far. And it's very inaccurate. If I get a new punter I'll probably punt a lot more. Definitely got to make those upgrades. I need a lot of coins guys. It's going to be a. Uh, I don't know. I don't open packs though. So. We're going to have to see how I get these coins. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this lineup update. If you have any questions regarding your lineup, send me pictures on Twitter, DM me directly, or you can just comment them down below and ask questions here. Either or, I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys. Come join the family. Spam the like button. Can we get 250 likes in this video? And comment down below. Like I said, if you have any questions, I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.